Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Evil, and I invite you to Destination Station on YouTube. Bagels can go to Destination Station. This buddy is the bomb. Yep. Yep. Fucking A. Yep. I had to say that for a reason. Freddy, take that, motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe to Destination Station. We want Scream, Halloween, and everything in between. And uh, follow me on all my socials. All the links are down in the description below. Uh, I have not made a theory about Scream in quite some time. Uh, so, um... Hey, let me get to the damn fucking part. I wanted to talk about something. I've seen a lot of people talk about this and speculate and rumors out there. So, I, this is my take on it. Um, with the whole Judy Greer thing uh, possibly being attached to Scream 7, uh, and it's a big, big possibility, you know, but it is not confirmed. I just want to put that out there before I give out this theory, and I do have some theories, so stick, stay tuned. So, uh, But there's a lot of people speculating that somebody from the, Hallow the latest Halloween franchise is in this movie, uh, along with somebody from, from Cocaine Bear as well. So, uh, it's not completely confirmed yet, but a lot of people are speculating Judy Greer or Carrie Russell, uh, which, you know, Judy Greer isn't new to the horror genre. Neither is Carrie Russell, you know. Uh, Carrie Russell's been in a lot of stuff, you know. She's, I mean, she has been, a, a, I've, I've seen her, like, in movies, like, back in the day when I was, uh, when I was a teenager and everything. Same thing with Judy Greer, you know. Judy Greer is aging very well, I would say. I always felt like she was always, like, a little bit older in the past. And now, it's like she's caught up to her age a little bit, but not in a bad way. It's like, now she actually looks her age, you know. Like, I don't know, she just still had that mature features about her. Uh, throughout her film career, you know, I, I think back all the way back to Jawbreaker, even when she was with Rose McGowan and, and Rebecca Gayhart on that film, uh, which is a really dark type of Heather's type of movie. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, it is like a dark comedy. Uh, she was also with Wes Craven in Cursed. Uh, if you have not seen that movie, I uh, uh, spoiler warning, she gets a little crazy near the end. And that's why a lot of people are speculating who is she going to play in Scream 7 because she has that familiarity in the horror genre and with Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson, you know. So, so with Kevin Williamson back in the director's chair, we automatically assume that it's Judy Greer and it could not, it might not even be her, you know, but uh, it would be really cool if it was. I think it would be kind of, uh, kind of like, a, a, you know, like, like bringing some old school actors from, from, from some of Wes Craven's past work, bringing them back. Uh, Curse didn't get the recognition that it really deserved. That movie was a mess. If you go back and look behind the scenes and stuff, it is a, it is a clusterfuck, okay? But I still like it. Uh, it's still uh, one of the better werewolf movies we've ever gotten. Uh, but with Judy Greer, and here we go into the theories, a lot of people are speculating, who is she going to play? Is she going to be Ghostface? Is she going to be uh, one of our main characters? Or is she just going to be uh, somebody that is in the distance or something? You know, a lot of people I've seen like speculate, this could be Leslie Mocker. You know, Leslie Mocker was mentioned a few times in Screen 5. Uh, 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 um, and, and this could be Stu's sister, you know, and she could be the killer because she's already got those, um, abilities to act crazy. You know, if you've seen Curse, you know what I'm talking about. So, so yeah, I think it's very interesting, but it, I've also seen, you know, uh, you know, shout out to, uh, a good friend of mine, a great channel, uh, Fate Decided, uh, has also put out something recently about that Judy Greer could be, um, 
uh, a Karen of, of Sydney, like a neighbor of Sydney's or something and playing that is someone that doesn't like Sydney because she brings the ghost. She brings the ghost face. She brings all this turmoil or something. And she could be somebody that we just do not like. That's a big possibility too. Um, but I honestly think that she will play somebody that is uh, a red herring. You know, I think she's too notable of an actress, uh, especially in the horror genre. And with her past work of what she's done on Cursed and stuff, I think that some of that will be in the back of our mind, especially hardcore fans and stuff. Like, ooh, she could be. She could be our red herring, you know. Uh, or she could just be somebody that gets killed off very early on. She could be the opening kill. We don't know, you know. Uh, so, so, or she could be like the nanny of, of Sydney's watching Sydney and Mark's kids. Uh, same thing with Carrie Russell, you know, uh, and we don't even know if, if, if these two ladies are actually confirmed to be in the film. Okay. We're just speculating here. Uh, but I think that it would be very wise to put Judy Greer in here because she does have that, uh, past experience with Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson. Uh, I think that if she is in this movie, I think she's going to be more of a red herring. She could be Leslie Mocker, but Leslie Mocker might not be the killer. You know, it, they could flip it on their head and make it seem like, oh, well, it just seems like, like, like it could be her because she's a notable Leslie Mocker and uh, or she's a noticeably Mocker. And, and then what if they turn it on its head? It's like, oh actually Stu's back, you know, and she could be an accomplice to, to Stu Mocker. It could be her, both of them working together, or it could just be that she gets killed and Stu Mocker's actually still alive, and maybe she didn't even know, but I think it'd be really cool if, if like, she was, like, uh, hiding out Stu or something, like, Stu changed his name or, or something. They could come up with something. You know, I have trust in Kevin Williamson and what he's going to do with this movie because uh, he's very smart writing. He, this is his baby. He knows what he's doing. And I think he's going to knock it out the park, okay? Uh, and, and with all the negativity surrounding Scream 7 and some people boycotting it because of Melissa Barrera, and I do sympathize with her, uh, I don't think it, this movie is going to hurt financially. Just given the stakes of what Abigail brought to the box office, you know, I, sp I spoke about this on my live stream last night, and I'm just mentioning it here real quick. Uh, so, so, uh, I was kind of worried about it, but if with all those supporters of Melissa Brera, I don't know where they were for Abigail because Abigail did not, it, it, it was not financially successful. And also you can buy it right now on digital today. Uh, so, uh, go support that movie because that's like, right, as, as, as of now, that's my favorite movie of the, of the, of the year so so yeah support that movie and i do stand with melissa barrera but i also stand with nev campbell and i also want the screen franchise to thrive so and i also stand behind kevin williamson and his work so uh so yeah it's kind of a you kind of pull in a couple different directions with your emotions here but uh but yeah what do you think about judy greer do you think she's the one that's going to be in this movie wouldn't it be crazy if they actually put jamie lee curtis in this movie you know and maybe she had like a cameo you know like like just like a little scene and, and and but everyone's like focused more on judy greer so you're telling me there's a chance yeah uh, or it could be uh uh, uh andy medicek uh, you know she could be one of our new new leads you know that would be kind of cool or maybe she's uh alongside with sydney so I don't know. There's a lot of speculation going around. I'm just throwing my two cents out about the Judy Greer situation. What do you guys think? You think she's a ghost face? You think she's even in this movie? And uh, uh, do you think she would be the killer? Do you think she'd be ghost face? So, so yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video and you want more screen theory, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. All right, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you on another time. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh!